Ganyan mga cover cards, tayo ay naging isang anghel. <laughs> Kasama dun sa procession ng Holy Week. Naalala ko na three days yan na sumasama ako at gustong gusto ko yun kasi um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday iba-iba yung aking damit. <laughs> diba? Pag bata ka pa, yan ang gusto mo, no? Marami, iba-iba yung damit mo. Palagi kami bagong damit. Yung anghel ako at ang kapatid ko naman ay naging apostoles. Tapos ng prosesyon, ako ay pinatong ng nanay ko dyan sa karo. Kasi yung may-ari niyan ay pin, mga pinsa namin. So, ipinatong ako dyan, pinakunan ng picture at salamat naman dahil nagkaroon tayo ng remembrance nung mga panahon na yon. Cover cards, review lang po natin yung Mysteries of the Holy Rosary, ay yung Sorrowful Mystery. Uh, alala ulit natin kung anong pinagdaanan ni Jesus, Passion and Death on the Cross. So the first mystery is the agony in the garden. Pray that you may not, that you may not enter into temptation. And Peter fell asleep, and the other apostles, and your little friend fell asleep. And I too was another sleepy-headed Peter. Jesus alone and sad, suffers and soaks the earth with his blood. Kneeling on the hard crown, he perseveres in prayer. He weeps for you and for me. The weight of the sins of men overwhelms him. The second mystery, the scourging of the pillar. Pilate speaks, It is your custom that I release one prisoner to you at the Passover. Whom shall I set free? Barabbas, a thief jailed with others for murder, or Jesus? Matthew 27, verse 17. The crowd is burned on by the ruler's cry, Put this man to death and release Barabbas. Luke 23, verse 18. Pilate speaks again. What shall I do then with Jesus who is called Christ? Matthew 27, verse 22. Crucify him. Mark 15, verse 14. Pilate, Pilate for the third time says to them, Why, what evil has he done? I have found in him no crime deserving death. Luke 23, verse 22. The clamor of the mob grows louder. Crucify him, crucify him. Mark 15, Verse 14. And Pilate, wanting to please the crowd, releases Barabbas to them and orders Jesus to be scourged. Third mystery, the crowning with thorns. The crown of thorns, driven in by blows, makes him a mock king. Hail, king of the Jews. Mark 15, verse 18. And with their blows, they wound his head and they strike him and spit on him. Crowned with thorns and clothed in rags of purple, Jesus is shown to the Jewish crowd. Here is the man. And again, the chief the priest and their attendants raised the cry saying, crucify him, crucify him. John 19, five to six. The fourth mystery, the carrying of the cross. Carrying his cross, Jesus goes out of the city to the place of the skull, called Golgotha in Hebrew, John 19, verse 17. And they lay hold of a certain Simon from Cyrene who is coming in from the country, and they make him take the cross and carry it behind Jesus. Luke 23, verse 26. The prophecy of Isaiah, 53 verse 12 has been fulfilled. He was counted among the wicked for two others who were robbers were led out with him to be put to death. Luke 23 verse 32. Fifth and the last mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. For Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, the throne of triumph is ready. Now he is on high, and close to her son at the foot of the cross stand Mary and Mary the wife of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene and John the disciples Jesus loved. Behold your mother, he gives us his mother to be ours. Now he thirsts for love for souls. It is accomplished. John 19 verse 30.
Ayan mga kabarkads, very busy tayo ng mga Holy Week. Kasi kailangan tayong pumunta sa Dangwa, bumili ng bulaklak. Tapos sinanda ako yung mga gamitin ko, nag-arrange para sa altar of repose. Kaya ngayon, i-share ko sa ginawa sa araw na yon. Do not be afraid. I know you seek Jesus of Nazareth. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Matthew 28, verse 5. He has risen. Jesus has risen. He is not in the tomb. Life has overcome death. He had to rise from the dead. John 20, 1-9. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and so the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. They bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Thanks for watching mga kabarkads and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell.